I'm Misty. And I'm Ike. For the next 15 minutes, we're going to debate pop culture. My background's in music. My background's in film. I know the topics beforehand. And I don't. We check the internet for the facts. And ruin it with opinions. From pop rocks in your lunchbox. To Happy Meal toys and swatch clocks. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday, everybody. Everybody. Went good morning, Wednesday. Good morning, Wednesday. Wait, oh, what do we call? Hey, dudes. What was yesterday? Hey, dudes. Yesterday was dudes. What's up, dudes? And good people. Yeah, good people. What's up, good people, dudes? What's up, bro? Good morning. Good morning. How's your Wednesday? Hump day. Have you humped anybody yet today? <laughs> I'm not. Okay, there's still time. I'm not in a thousand Wednesdays. <laughs> <laughs> Help me. <laughs> Help me. It's your choice to hump Wednesday. Oh, no, it's my choice to just not involve myself in the dating world. Well, tomorrow's a new day. <laughs> it is. Tomorrow's Every day Thursday. is a new day full of new possibilities. Yeah, you could get on the internet. Yuck. Okay. No. You could stay off the internet. It's terrifying how people get murdered. Okay. Do you know anybody that's been murdered from a dating app? No, but I've read about them. Okay. Craigslist murderers. Maybe if you were going on more dates and not reading about murder Tinder dates, you would be having a hump Wednesday. The idea of going on a date is terrifying to me. All right. Well, so I don't know where we're awkward. going here. I don't know where we're Basically, I'm going to end up alone forever. Somebody get this woman a cat. <laughs> oh, hey, God. Can you bring her the cat? That is the last thing that I want. Couple cats, please. No, I, I will stay alone. Alone. Before I get cats. Hey, if anybody else has uh, out there has cats that they want to donate, Misty's no. cur- currently building her collection right now. Um, I hate cats. <laughs> Everyone just to let the world know. And that's why we should get her as many cats uh, as I possible. I hate cats. This what? is like lasers. <laughs> right. I don't want cats. Like, I don't want lasers. What if they were laser cats? Okay, that's different. That's completely different. Laser dude. cats. Laser cats. We, oh my God, you know what? That's maybe a new Marvel series. Have Dude. they ever done like a Marvel pet series like animals? Uh, Spider Man. He's a person. I mean, he yeah. just got bit by a spider. You ask a question. I no, I mean like question. super cats <laughs> or super dogs. Are we gonna have to cut right now and write the super uh, dogs I Marvel think universe? Like the the Defenders version with pets with animals. Right. So you have a cat. You have a dog. You have an iguana. Not too slow. Can't keep up. Can, what about a, a bird? Chameleon. A bird that flies like a hawk, like a shit hawk, like Hawkeye, but he's a person. But he's an he's a hawk. It's true. Um, and a turtle. Oh, but a, a iguana was too slow. But, but we can have you, a turtle. But you pour... you just want a teenage mutant ninja turtle. Exactly. We can't write that character. It's already been written. Okay, so we have a cat, a dog. We have a shit hawk and a shit hawk and an elephant. <laughs> no, too way ooh, too slow. Ooh, is a cheetah too close to a cat? It's already a cat. Yeah, it is. What about a a centaur? Oh, I'm all for a centaur, so but a, that just took it super weird. Yeah, let's take centaurs out of it. Um, what what's something that people have besides cats, dogs, and lizards? Oh 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 oh, something that lives in the ocean and the land, something amphibious. A mermaid. Oh, I was thinking maybe like uh, a, <laughs> a duck a do- boat a that dolphin. they can all ride around. They, in. <laughs> okay, so the dog, the cat, and the shit hawk live on the sea, and their best friend is a dolphin. With SpongeBob. Well, they, they don't live under the sea. SpongeBob <laughs> SquarePants. On. But doesn't that also too a little too closely resemble Aquaman? Not yet. Okay. We're getting there. So the three friends live on the land, and they're best friends with a dolphin on the sea, and they save... Ew, that has sonar hearing. That's right. <gasps> I'm in. And they We're solve... We're Written. The, they solve beach crimes in red <laughs> bathing suits. <laughs> like... It's called... Wait, what? It's called Sea Patrol. I think you're onto something. But it's spelled S E E because they all all they're all blind. I think you're onto something. <laughs> yeah. Sea Patrol. I, it's a dog and a cat and a shit hawk with a dolphin friend. I just still need to know what a shit hawk is. I'll tell you after the show. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Great. So. What about that jingle I just wrote? <laughs> it was pretty amazing. Sea Patrol. Sea it's Patrol. It's a dog and a cat and a shit hawk and a dolphin friend. <laughs> Oh, I don't know why you're not writing jingles. I don't know why I'm not famous. I don't either at all. I think this might push over the edge. I right can't here. wait to get famous and eclipse this show and start my own special podcast all by myself called Ike Ruins the Internet, all by himself without <laughs> Misty. 
<laughs> that hurts me. Sorry. I mean, not really. Because yeah. I know you're kidding. Right. Right? <laughs> Bring in the new show stuff. So Ike wants to ditch Misty. <laughs> well, until I get famous, what do you want to do today? Another man abandons me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and you wonder why you're not dating. <laughs> oh, I can't. I can see you on a first date. Like, so how long is it going to take for you to abandon me? <laughs> I would never Before say you that. even order your first drink, you're just like, are you going to leave me too? <laughs> Not a chance. How long till you leave me, Daddy? Dude, you know what? <laughs> I learned a long time ago. I don't need you in my life. I want you in my life. We don't need no man. Nope. I learned how to uh, make my life happy with or without. What's the opposite of scrubs? Uh, I don't want <laughs> no man. Well, the scrub is a man. They can't get no love from me. <laughs> Um, Passenger side of my best friend's ride. <laughs> we need to start this up. Okay, so. yeah, we're I, this six is minutes in already. Going so far off the track. And so. let's see here. Meow. Okay, today we're going to talk about actors Shh. and actresses. Okay. You always tell me to speak up. No, no, I wasn't Don't shushing shush you. me. I wasn't. I was going to say actors and shit hawks. <laughs> Please continue. Actors and actresses who have played multiple Marvel characters. Okay. 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 I'm going to reset this timer for 10 minutes to offset. I the, think you should. The, Can I? <clears throat> someone start. Okay. Idris Elba. What else? Oh, yeah. He was in Thor. <clears throat> he was in Thor. And. He also appeared in Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance. Ghost Rider is a Marvel movie? Yep. What's that sound? <clears throat> That was me moving my oh, thingamajig. Ghost Rider. The one with Nicolas Cage in 2007? Spirit of Vengeance. Ghost Rider. Spirit of Vengeance. So, what he did, this was super cool. He had reservations about playing both roles. So, his character in Thor has red eyes, right? Mm hmm. He asked if his character in Ghost Rider could have red eyes so that it would appear. That those two characters were related to each other in the universe. See, I would as a as an actor that I'm not, I would take it the other way. I would go, let's You'd make this completely something completely different, different mm -hmm. so no one ties the two together. Right. I, I thought I think that it's pretty interesting where he was just like, you know what? People are gonna be like, wait, how can he play so let's just make it that they're people that are related. And that it's his, fixes it. It's his twin brother. Yeah, right. It's just out riding motorcycles on fire with uh, yeah. Nicolas Cage. Pretty cool, I think. Yeah. That. What did you think about that movie? Which one? Ghost Rider. I didn't see it. Yeah, it's not. Uh, I yeah. You I and everyone it. else. You know what you have in common with everybody else in the world, including people that voted for both sides. What's that? They I didn't have not see, seen Ghost Rider. They didn't see Ghost Rider either. Yeah, just not my thing. Um, yeah. You think they're still counting votes? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> next. Um, one of my absolute favorite people in the world, Patton Oswalt. I love Patton Oswalt. Patton Oswalt played in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And he also played in Blade Trinity, which Blade is part of the Marvel Universe. You know what? Blade, the, the Blade series changed my life. Really? Yeah. Tell me. When I first saw Blade, and I saw that dude, what's his name, who's not a great actor. He was cool when that Wesley movie came Wesley Snipes? Out. No. Because he's not a great actor either. No, the really weird one that's the, oh, what's his name? Hold on, let me get a new tab going. Everybody's screaming at home. Blade. <clears throat> well, I'll tell, while you're looking that up, I'll tell you. Um, he In Blade, he played um, Hannibal, Wesley Snipes, um, go-to weapons guy. And he doesn't have a whole lot of screen time. Um, but what he did get from that afterwards is he has some epic Wesley Snipes stories <laughs> that he's told in interviews. Wait, who's this? Patton Oswalt. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. Right, right. I was thinking of Stephen Dorff. Oh, he's crazy. He is crazy now. But yeah. when that movie came out and I saw him in like, he was wearing this like British cut slim fit like button up. And I was like, I'm going to start buying me button up. <laughs> That's cool, man. I'm going I'm to dress nice from now on. And it didn't work out. Huh. Now I'm back to t-shirts. Well, back to the episode. Yes. 
Patton in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. gets to play uh, four different brothers. He gets to play four characters that are all brothers. In On the TV show? Yeah. Oh, cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that is cool. He's, I think he's so amazing. Um, Sorry, I'm, they just gave me an advertisement for a Nintendo Switch, and I was okay. like, hmm, maybe <laughs> I want one of those for going out of town. That's okay. Well, here's another one, and this one might actually go. You have to go, oh, yeah. Um, Alfrey Wood Woodard. Do you know who she is? I was going to look them up. So she's in Luke Cage. She plays Mariah Dillard. Um, she's a politician who is kind of a driving force in the whole thing and um her cotton mouth um is her cousin and he's kind of the the villain of the whole show okay um and then she was also in captain america civil war i'm seeing that now yeah she was the woman who met tony stark in the very beginning at the elevator and pushed the picture of her dead son who went to go volunteer right. in Sokovia. Yes. Yeah. She's been in a ton so, of So, like, stuff. it's a really, like, bit part in mm. it, but it's hugely impactful. Yeah. To the the rest of the course of, like, what Tony does in that movie. Yeah. And she was like, but her role in Luke Cage was, like, a, one of the primary characters. Right. I like so. it when in big movies where they can get bigger actors Me to play, too. like, one or two lines. Me, too. I, I love, love it. it. Like, you see her and you're like, yeah, I love her. Yeah, it's that lady from that thing. Right. Oh, that lady from that thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, we did an episode called That Guy from That Thing. We did. We, we talked do... about ladies. Okay. I was going to say we just do a whole episode for women, but, you know. No, we, we could do that. I mean, oh. we did talk about women. No, it's in that cool. Episode. You cut me off, so it's fine. We don't have to do that. John Favreau. John Favreau. We know him as happy. Yeah, he's super happy. He's happy. Super happy. <laughs> oh, oh, you know that's going to happen. Maybe. You know that somehow he's going to turn into super happy because he's going to have to rescue Aunt May from something. He is a. Oh, that's what you're going for. He's dating. But isn't he still. His character's name is Happy. Right. Yeah. But is he still happy in Spider-Man? Yeah. It's the it's, same person. So he, he's not playing two different characters. No. He's just but one actor. he was in Daredevil. Oh. And he was a completely different character. The show or the movie? The movie. He was um uh Matt Murdoch's business partner. Oh, Matt Murdoch's business partner. Oh. Well, Matt Murdoch is Ben Affleck. Mm. The main character. Obviously, yeah. And so he was his business partner. Mm -hmm. So totally different role. And then went totally. on What are you doing? I'm agreeing with you. <laughs> okay sarcastically it nope. seems like i don't know what you're talking about so i'm agreeing you said daredevil was the only was like that you had seen yeah but uh when did it come out it was a long time ago oh isaac anyways john john favreau <laughs> played in daredevil and then he also is happy in all of the avengers and the iron mans and the spider mans and blah blah blah, blah. and in addition to directing yeah. Some of them. Right. Before he and went on to... didn't he executive produce after directing? I and think a lot of them. And maybe now... even help with screenwriting on some of Possibly, them? Possibly, yeah. Screenplays? Now he's, I think so. he's the creative force behind The Mandalorian. I love that. Yes. He's he's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Like, that man has got an imagination that d just don't quit. Talk about, like, big directing gigs being for older people. Like, he really came into it in he the sure last did. 10 years. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. They're just not handing out $150 million movies to just any old jackhole. They're not. Well. They're not. He, I mean, he's the one that really kicked off Iron Man. Do you remember, though, like where where he came from? Oh, yeah. Swingers. Totally. You know what the coolest part about Swingers is? Didn't he write it? Uh, I well, thought he wrote it. Him and John wrote it together. John? He is John. Correct. Who John am I thinking Favreau? of? John Favreau? Yes. Who are you thinking of? The, oh, Vince Vaughn? That's exactly what I'm thinking of. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> <laughs> so they shot it on deferment, right? So mm -hmm. deferment is yeah. everybody, you know, for those at home that don't know, I know Misty knows this. Yeah. Uh, you work for free, and if the movie sells and makes money, you get paid. Yeah. They sold the film bef uh, like a couple days before the wrap party, and John got to go around and hand out everybody their so cool. full check, full payment for the whole, so full rate, cool. full union rate, 
for all three weeks of shooting, he got to hand everybody their check at the rap party. I love it so much. Yeah. One of my friends worked on that. Would, that would, like, can you imagine how, like, fulfilling that would be? Yeah. To convince all those people yeah. to work for free and then, yeah. and then to have the movie do very well. Oh, my God. On top I, of that. I remember it coming out and I was like, and then like very shortly after, because it brought in this, ushered in this whole era of like people liking <gasps> swing music again from the yeah. 40s. And all of a sudden Gap was making swing dancing commercials. Mm -hmm. And I remember Ska like, made a huge comeback in my head. I was like there, if there is anything I'm going to do before I die in this world, I'm going to go to LA and I'm going to go to the Dresden. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, like it's, you know, it's just down the street. It's over that way. <laughs> it's right over there. Yep. Um, Still haven't yeah. been there. It's, really? No, I'm just kidding. It's, I was like, it's a really cool place. I want to go to the, the big by. bar because there's a bigger bar at the end <clears throat> that's got like a band playing. That's not the Dresden, right? Yeah, it is. Did they remodel it? At the end? Because in the movie, the bar is in the middle and you can see across the bar and there's a larger room on the other side and people are performing. Currently, I would have to rewatch it to be honest with you. Like in my head, it's been so long since I've seen it. I can't recollect. Currently, this. the bigger side where the dance floor was is right. now booths and there's a wall. It's not a circular bar anymore. Okay. So you just answered your own question. Did they redo it? Well, I didn't know if there was another room connected to it that they sold off. I don't know if it was shot in another location. I think so. I do. I do. Something tells me I remember that it was definitely a little bit bigger. Anyways, that is a whole different movie and a whole different thing than yeah, what we're talking about. You remember when we used to start on one thing and end on another? I hated that, actually. Oh, I love it. Because. What's happening? I don't know. The slaps is having a heart attack. <laughs> Your phone's. I don't know what's happening. Oh, please don't we say We literally it's only got through like three people. Yeah. I hope this doesn't kick in full. Remember how I reset the timer for 10 minutes because we did a six minute pre-roll? Yeah, that's why we got through three people. That's right. Do you want to keep going? Bonus I'm time? You know what? I'm just going to end it on this one very person because this is enough right here. Okay. Ryan Reynolds. Ooh. We know him as Deadpool. Uh-huh. Yeah. Green Hornet. Also in Blade Trinity. Oh, yes. Also in Blade Trinity. Not Green Hornet. Um, that was Seth Rogen. But oh, what's the green thing with the ring? Uh, Green Lantern. The Green Lantern. So he's a trifecta. Is Green Lantern Marvel? I, I don't think so. Green Lantern is Marvel. I is think that's DC. Green Lantern. Lantern Marvel. DC. Yeah. I wonder who's played the most superheroes on any platform. Well, there are a couple of interesting people like... Chris Evans and Michael B. Jordan mm -hmm. both were in the Fantastic Force. Like Chris Evans was in the first one and Michael B. Jordan was in the remake. Mm -hmm. And then they're both now major characters Ooh. in Captain America yeah. and Black Panther. Interesting. Yeah. So there's a little weird, you know, connect the dots, seven degrees. And Bob's your uncle. Bob's your uncle. So you know what? Buttholes. Unless it's Friday. We'll see you tomorrow. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.